this video, we're going to talk about our new vocabulary and spelling courses. We currently have vocabulary and spelling courses released for levels 3 through 8. Students will improve both their spelling and typing skills. The program reinforces students' knowledge of sight words while also teaching them to expand their vocabulary through prefixes, suffixes, base words, and other grammatical categories depending on their grade level. Students acquire new skills through interactive practice, quizzes, games, puzzles, and stories. Each course includes 40 weeks of activity, and each week students will be given a set of about 10 words to study. These courses also align with 3rd through 8th grade Common Core State Standards for English Language Arts and Reading Foundational Skills. In Level 3, students will learn about affixes and sight words. In Level 4, they'll learn about Greek and Latin word parts, such as affixes and roots, and sight words. In Level 5, students will learn base words and sight words. In Level 6, students will learn affix families, groups of affixes with related meanings, In Level 7, students will learn Greek and Latin roots. And in Level 8, students will learn focus words, complex words that can be broken down into their affixes and roots to make other words. Next, we'll take a look at the different experiences in each level. Each week, the students will start with a video introducing the theme for the week. Unhappy, unable, unhelpful. What do these words have in common? They all start with un. Once they watch the video, they'll move on to definitions. Unlock. Each definition will list the word. You'll hear its pronunciation, see the part of speech, the definition, and example sentences. Once they go through all of the definitions, they'll see the story. The story uses all of the words for the week. The keywords will be highlighted and they'll need to type all of the keywords. The problem began when Logan and Sally were unable to open the closet door. They can skip they the audio the at any point. Unable. So they'll need to type the word. The part of speech and definition will be underneath. If they type an incorrect letter, they'll need to keep trying until they type it correctly. Unhelpful. Unlock. Color. Once they complete the story, it's time for spelling practice. They'll see and hear each word and then type it. Unlock. Unlock. Once they type it correctly the first time, then they'll need to type it again, this time without the visual reference. If they type it incorrectly, then they'll get the reference again and need to retype it. Then they'll type it one more time without the reference. Next is dictation. Here they'll hear each word and they won't be given the visual this time. Stand. Color. They can also use hints. They'll give them the next letter. They can hear it used in an example sentence. Unable. If they type it incorrectly, they'll see where their mistake was. And then they'll need to practice it three times with a reference. Unlock. Next is the drop quiz. They'll need to read the definition, understand the meaning of each word, and then drop the correct word into the blue circle in the center. To undo the lock of, so drag the word over into the center. If you drag the incorrect word, it'll spit it back out and then you lose a life here. Next is the word jumble, so all of the letters mix together and they'll need to rearrange them to create the correct word. 
They can always use a hint, either spelling or context. They can either type the words or drag them. Next is fill in the blank. So they'll read each sentence and then choose the word from the word bank. Drag the word over. If they want to skip, they can click down here to skip. And then once they hit check, they'll see which ones they got incorrect and which ones were correct. View results. They'll see their stars and their score. And then they can either try again or move on. And then next is multiple choice. There's a few different types of multiple choice. So in this one, they'll need to find the correct definition. Here there's fill in the blank. There's also find the word that matches the definition. Find the correct spelling that matches the definition. And then find the image that matches the word based on a picture. And then next is proofreading. So they'll read a passage and they'll need to find five mistakes in the passage and correct them. So they can be looking for words that are spelled incorrectly or improper capitalization or punctuation. Once they find an error, they'll click on the word and then they can edit the word here and click apply. Once they have all five, they can click submit and then continue on. And then lastly, they will end each week with a crossword puzzle. And then once they finish the crossword puzzle for the week, they're ready to move on to the next week. We can also take a look at the different spelling resources we have available on our help page. Once you get there, click Resources, and then click Spelling. Here you can see some information on spelling curriculum in Common Core. And then there's word lists for each level. So this is the level three word list. There's also various handouts. Here's handout one for spelling level three. Different activities that you can have your students do. And then lastly, there's a spelling routine for each level. Opening discussion, instructions, different activities that you can do to supplement these courses.